Hey guys, welcome back to House Flipper. We are back here in the HGTV house. Uh, still a work in progress, but it's starting to become more like a house you would live in now. Back with Lisa, of course. And I think we do actually have one of those missions, don't we? Um, I don't you know, know. If you go to the map of jobs, there should still be one remaining. Like it should show we've done three with ticks on them, right? I mean, uh, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine ticks. That many? I only have. Oh wait, three. hold on. It's ten ticks. Wait, you've done that many? Yes. Okay, I only have four total. Do I have to like do more to get more jobs? Maybe. Yeah. God damn it. There's ten. Jim's total. here knocking over stuff on my desk. Yes, Matt Damon. Very much so. Fucking you going to bed? Matt Damon. Are you going to bed? Okay, you are going to bed. Come here. I can't go to bed. It's house flipping. Private time. moment. I have to pretend this is happening. <laughs> that never happened, kids. Go away. Kissy, okay, kissy. go to bed. Go on. Jealousy. This is what happens to the life of a YouTuber, by the way. It's not all glitz and glamour. It's people coming in and bothering you. Between. Go to bed. I love you. Bye bye. Anyway, there's there's one. Okay, so you, you've done that one then. So, can we buy any of these? Um, I. Oh, no, you bought one, one of them. Okay. Um, look in the buyable houses. I've got about one hundred two thousand to work with here. I think. I've got two houses I'm Unless working I on. Unless I sell the variable woman's house. I'm still working on my variable woman's house. Yeah, I kind of gave that one up. I'm going to go through it and sell it and see what happens. Yeah, this is one of those housework episodes where I don't really know what the hell's happening, but we're doing something. It's going to be great. Everything yeah. will be fine. Nothing terrible will happen. We did the variable woman's house and then it undid itself. You were cursed. Yeah. And no, it was the, the house where something was hidden was the one that I think... Oh, yeah. Yeah. No, I'm just going to auction and get rid of it. I don't care. I'm going to finish it. I just want to buy a decent house, too. and we'll start a nice house. I want to see what happens when I make it really pretty. I'm maybe going to make a hundred grand. You're don't worth a hundred grand to me, baby. Okay, that's totally Trump. Okay, 110. Cool. Okay. Uh, You're worth 120 to me, baby. I know, right? Absolutely. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Hmm. Okay, so this morning, by the way, cat story. Cat um, story. I, I, I injured my eye a couple of years ago, right? And I... Yes, I, I prodded... Eyes. No, I... I had a brand new mascara brush with the sharp edges on it, and I stuck it in my eye, and I actually scratched the cornea. Badly it enough. Happens. It happens. It was really severe. I was light sensitive for days, major pain. Either way, thanks to that, mm. I now, a very occasionally, if I don't use eye drops in the eye when I go to bed... Uh, wake up with something in it and it's stuck there forever and my eye hurts like crazy and I literally have to hold my eyelids slightly open and try and fall asleep again till it goes away um that happened this morning oh, and I, I woke up with, I woke up with that and the cat was basically wrapped around my leg at the bottom of the bed um so and I you're fell asleep blinded again. yeah I woke, up, woke up three hours later and she was still there wrapped around my leg she'd been there all morning because it was oh. Jim's first day back at work today so She's like, I don't know how to live anymore. Yeah, she's like, I'm staying here because it's familiar. Okay, so I've got 200 grand. How's your eye? It's fine. It does it now and again. Uh, I've got 200 grand for a purchase. What is in our ballpark for a that? A what? Oh, a purchase. A purchase, yes. <laughs> uh, there is the man cave house, which seems problematic. There's the uninhabited house. Could make or it the accountants. Like... I've not done the accountants one, I don't think. I know you didn't do the May one. The which one? The one that the, <gasps> the Pink maze. Kingdom. Have you done the Pink Kingdom one? I don't know. The Pink Kingdom's amazing. It's like literally a period with walls. The Pink Kingdom? Yes. Go buy that house. Seriously. We should I have to buy a together. third house? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Go buy it. <laughs> the Pink Kingdom's amazing. It's a period with walls. Literally. Listen. As a woman who has periods, that's not something I like to think about. Trust me, you'll think the same thing when you see it. What's it called? Pink? The Pink Kingdom. Oh my god. Yes. Yes. The loading screen says everything. Oh yeah, I remember. Yeah, 
I bought uh -huh. this on my other profile. I totally forgot about this. I went into the whole place and I looked around and I'm like, it's perfect. I'm just reselling it. And I didn't make anything. It was just the same fucking price. I'm like, game, that's fucked up. Okay, so the challenge for the next few episodes, because it will take a while, is for us to f turn this into a normal house. No! A nice house. Yes! I don't like, want I to. It's perfect. granted kind Look of like van. it like this. Look at this bike! Oh, in the garage? Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Everything's pink. Not the garage. They can stay. But no, seriously, like, we have to make it to a nice, modern, normal house. I. This feel is not like stuff that can stay. I've never had such a conflict with you in my heart. I love it too, but we have to try and sell it, which means we have to make it yeah. neutral yeah. so it's palatable for customers. Yeah. Yes! Don't no. stop at me. You're not my mom. You don't know that? Also, oh. ah, the flamethrower works. <laughs> oh, can oh. I flamethrower malls? Oh. <laughs> this is so cute. I destroy everything. Yeah. This mall will never fire. hide. I will barbecue the mall. What if I make it a house that I think you would want to live in? Huh? What if I make it a house that I think you would want to live in? Oh. Okay. That's a theory. Could be very warped. That could be disturbing. I'm letting you keep the pink fan. I mean, yeah. I can go with that. Uh, I have to upgrade my other stuff here. Uh, big professional hammer. Yes, we all want one of those. Uh, yes, I need we to go do. To the store. Helps with smash fuel for the thingy. Flamethrower fuel. Bye. Pop there. No, Sometimes I don't want more. Sometimes you just need some. We feel the flamethrower. Cleansing flames. We shall be reborn again. So really, all I have to do to make this house yours is paint everything that's pink purple. I feel like I'm gonna get insulted here, but yes. I mean, is it insulting if you just agreed with me? Part of me says yes, I'm that transparent. Part of me says no. I will, I will make you a beautiful home. Excellent. I will make you a beautiful home. We'll live there together. Forever, I will make you the least apocalypse. Right, I need to kill this mole, so give me a second. Kill it, Dad. I'm gonna get the flame throughout as soon as it spawns. Where are you, little furry whatnot? Where are you, you little bastard? I'll get you, so don't play Minesweeper. It took me a long time to figure out how Minesweeper worked. Gotcha! Die! Heretic! Come back here! Wow. I didn't know I you were playing the, you could play Inquisition in this game too. Apparently, yes. Well, the mole's a heretic. That's my logic. Ah, I ran out of fuel. Oh, I'm sorry. There'll be more. You just have to buy it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like all the fun things in life. You just have to buy them. Like love. <laughs> oh, apparently I set fire to the decking. That's a problem. That's not a problem. That's a solution. Cut Rachel's lawn. No, the solution comes when I find out if I can use this inside. Wait, did you just burn the whole yard down? Basically. Nice. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you for burning everything. It is the fastest garden clearing tool. I kind of... Hmm... I, I kind of 
prefer it when the grass is like a little bit existent. Yeah, it grows back though. Does it? Yeah. I think so. Why did you say that confidently and then took it back? Because I... Don't question me. I, I don't know. Burn house. Oh, no, you shouldn't burn the house. Well, I need to work out if I can use it inside or not. Yeah, you can use it inside. I am. I just burned the welcome mat. Did you? <gasps> oh, shit. <laughs> what did you do? Oh, no. What have I done? What did you I accidentally do? burnt down the front of the house. Oh, no, really? Does that work? I made a mistake. Aw, it doesn't burn down. It doesn't burn down in the way you want, but in a way I didn't even think about. And now, well, how much do you need a driveway? The driveway? Oh, you destroyed the brickwork. <laughs> you can burn brick. Nice. Oh, god damn it! I just did as well. Guess what's now optional. <laughs> Imagine it's a Monday evening and drive home from work to see your neighbor burning the front yard again. It's like, hello, Dave. Are you burning the bricks again? Yes. Because they makes grew total back. Sense. They grew back can you, again. Could you set fire to the car? No, hmm. don't. <gasps> I can use it inside. I know you can. <laughs> I just, I just flowed through oh, the TV. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I flowed through the TV. <laughs> Can you hear the smile on your face? <laughs> on the couch, there goes the couch. And everything. It's like that one episode of Bob's Burgers. <laughs> this is basically fine in there, so I'll just repaint. What else could I flame through in here? Well, the entire front yard has been burned. Close enough. You know what happens when you set the tank on fire, right? That can go away. I'm not six anymore. That bed does not need to exist. Wait, did you have a bed like that when you were six? Yeah. That's so cute. I was yeah, into blue. It was cute. Uh, okay. Right. Most of this stuff can stay. You can't stay. Uh, no, why? Why do I have to go? Not you. Oh, this okay. stuff I'm burning. I'm trying to surgically flamethrower in the house. It's not working well. See, the, um, the flamethrower isn't a tool, a precision tool. But you think they'd make one that is, you know? You think that would be a good idea. But do you think the house flipper devs are capable of that? No. <laughs> I'd like it to be, but I don't think it is. Let's get painting. Or should I do the outside first? Fire is like yeah. painting. What do the Both outside burn first? your lungs. Uh, what are we thinking? Wood paneling? Or are we thinking paint? You know I like wood paneling. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You and your phrasing. What? You know what you said. What did I say? I'm disappointed. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I like dark wood. I'm into that a little more lately. God damn it! I've made so I don't try to pretend anymore. I've made so many houses that were like light color wood. Uh huh. Lately, I've been going for the dark one. Uh huh. And you know, I gotta say, now that I've started, I don't. I don't think I can go back. Like they say. Once you install mahogany paneling, you just don't go back. Were those panels bigger than the lighter ones? They did have wider grains. Yeah. Wider, yeah, longer grains. Trend. Yeah. Much more difficult to handle. No. No? Wow. You're an expert then. Well, I mean, we do it together all the time. Absolutely. 
Right, I need some equipment. So, no, not that. Uh... Why does it look like this is a lady hand when I'm holding the flamethrower? Looks like a completely different model hand. Yeah. I'll have to what check you think? I'll have to look one second. Uh, no, I think it's the same hand. I have doubts. The forearm is hairy, so but look at either look at the into hand Subaru Foresters or it looks different. No, it looks the same. I think it's because you can see less of it. Oh, Rachel, it's different. I'm telling you, baby, it's different. Okay, okay, okay. You believe are the experts me, in the Rachel, grain why size. Don't you believe me. You are the grain size expert, so I'll leave it to your judgment. No, this isn't about wood. This is about hands, and you know a lot about that. But I thought there was a good correlation there between the grain size and, you know, hands. I wouldn't know about that. You intimated you knew. You were quite clear about this. Are we are we not talking about paneling anymore? Aren't we? Oh no. I don't even know what we're talking about, but I'm pretty sure they're bordering on demonetization either way. <laughs> Which was your goal all along, I understand. Yes, yes. I'm I've been working a how long have we known each other? Yes, I've been working the whole time to take down your YouTube channel from the inside. <laughs> It makes sense. People would. It's elaborate scheme. Oh, and, and intricate. I need more paint. Why well, can't I put the paint on the roof? Re. Oh, I fell off. It, Good job. There's no full physics in this game. What? 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 I'm, I'm on the roof. Okay. I'm painting the outside Why of the house. You... I was going to say, why are you painting the roof? Shouldn't paint the roof. No, I'm painting the, the floors and I'm using the, the, the walls, sorry, and I need to get on the roof to paint it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That probably makes sense. Can't quite reach. There we go. Just reach around. Hmm. You're trying too hard now. It just... What? Now you're That's just hard. deliberately trying to make dirty remarks whilst house flipping is... God damn it! <laughs> she is the master of this. She beats me every time. And I love it. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it's just uh, like it. And, and you wonder why people think we're lesbians. I think a lot of people think that at this point. Yeah. Sorry, it's never gonna happen. Sorry, uh, shippers. <laughs> <laughs> We're just white girl married. It's a totally different thing. Yeah. I guess like technically you said, she I likes was common dark... while married to my best friend for a while. There you go. Roommates. I mean, you've already explained you like wide-grained, dark-colored mahogany paneling. The bigger the better. You made it very Think, clear. There's, I, there's a listen. I, I'm open to any <laughs> and all wood paneling. All wood paneling. Okay. There's a place for everything. I think but it's is, usually. We're talking like, are, we, are, we, are you the kind well, of girl that like one wood panel like... at a time, or do you like to get a stack of them going? I mean, you can only handle so much at once. Mm. Um, I just, you know, I really do prefer like a paneled basement. Oh, okay. I think those look cool. We had a... I think every house I've ever lived in with a basement has to have a paneled basement. Except the one I have now. It has a dirty basement. At least you have a basement now. You used to have an apartment. I used to have a hole outside where I could wash my laundry and then run away from. <laughs> when the scabs arrived. That's kind of how it feels. Or, <laughs> field! Felt. Good English. You have a stroke. <laughs> you're the one here. So you're the one who's English. You handle this shit. Uh, you're the ones that butchered my language. I'm sorry. I'm not responsible for any of that crap. My family left England because they were shit at being English, obviously. See, when Americans accuse the British of like, well, it's your language. I'm like, no. You're like the person who bought the new car 
drove it off the lot, drove it into a tree, and came back and said the warranty's faulty. Yeah, and the warranty was voided a long time ago. Yeah. A very long time ago. Uh, well, the amount of uh, paneling accidents you've had, yes, I can imagine it would be. Hmm? Nothing. Well, I almost burned the car. It's a lie. Yeah, still. don't Thank do that. The, the car and, has I'm to leaving stay. you the pink bike. It seems very important. It is. I would have a pink bike, to be fair. The current Isn't color scheme I've gone for is yeah, my bike's orange, but I went for I could have gone for you know neon pink accessories. Instead, I went for neon green. I thought it, it could have gelled better, you know. Yes, I agree. Yes. Oh yes, so uh, yes. I got a I got my first Apple product yesterday. Oh, that's right. Now you, <laughs> congratulations! You're in a cult. Call your dad. I am in a cult. Um, no, I bought it because it's the right tool for the job. Like it will be hugely helpful for a lot of my work. And you do like a huge tool. Absolutely, the right tool, bigger the better. Um, Does it feel in your hands? It feels amazing. It's just about the right size, you know, just manageable. Mm -hmm. And it's so tactile as well. Keep really running powerful. fingers all over. It's just, yep, this is for me. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, it has incredible tactile sensitivity. Yeah. I'm very happy for you. Yeah, me too. You're no, in all seriousness, me all, no, a lot um, of pics of you using it. In all seriousness, no, it's actually really, really useful for what I need to do with it. And it should be a huge help. Um, but I... Oh, God damn it. Now I have access to Apple TV and I can I can finally watch For All Mankind, which is something I've been dying to watch for a long time. What is it? Um, for All Mankind. It's an alternative reality science fiction or science fact. Oh man, you know how I love science fiction. It allows me to escape the wretched truth of 2020. So it's basically what would have happened if the Soviets beat America to the moon? I would have, so the Russians would have landed the first man on the moon. There. And America came second. Um, Nixon pulled out of Vietnam, and the <laughs> Russians then landed. Exactly, yeah, definitely fiction. Um, but no, the basically the Paris Agreement held in this time. Um, but the the big part of it though is that the Russians sent the first woman to the moon, so NASA recruits an entire class of women astronauts to go the on the Apollo missions. The NASA would do that. It's just yeah. Despite Soviet Union. Now, but back then, yes. I mean, listen, that would... Never mind. The thing is, you could tell it was fictional, though, when... And I will bear on this one quite gently because of the uh, sensitivity of the subject matter, but considering this was NASA in the 1960s and one of the female astronauts in the class was African-American, I was quite surprised There's considering no way they that time that. period. No, that time period, no. It was horrible and wrong, absolutely, but at the same time... like I, I don't hmm. think so, just because... I mean, it was a fucking hard enough time to be. Yeah, it was working. I mean, working behind the scenes. Just working in, as a woman in the NASA industry, anyway. Never mind that. Well, yeah, I mean, it was already difficult enough, but I mean, with the astronauts being such a, a good old military public white presence, boys. yeah, it was no. They're just so mm. public. I think in this case, it was explained away by they absolutely needed any qualified women that could possibly fill the role of astronaut candidate and in this case she was a qualified commercial pilot so this woman flew a plane that was actually the qualifying factor for most of the female candidates in that unfortunately they were really just going for any experience a lot of women moment. flew planes then mm. that wasn't a shocking that's not a shocking thing but surprisingly few with the qualifications show. they wanted we're looking for a bunch of other things too. It's weird the grass comes back though after I put something on it. And that's really weird. Like wherever I place an item, the grass suddenly appears full again. Really? Intriguing. Yeah. But no, it's a fantastic show. Really interesting, really well done. Uh, very insightful, good story, good character development. Um, probably the, the favorite part though is one of the astronauts is a bit of a, a bit of an a-hole. You know, he cheats on his wife. He's a bit of a kind of misogynist. Does he know. get Apollo 1? No. Um, the irony is, though, he gets canned from Apollo 15 and his wife qualifies into the program. 
because they both met as, they were both pilots when they both met and obviously she went off to have kids and get married and you know be the stay-at-home mom and she gets her chance through this program to become an astronaut herself Fuck you motherfucker yeah that was kind of nice i like that bit and she's a badass Motherfucker, motherfuckers got owned mm -hmm. now very good show though absolutely love it um Honestly, I'm so happy to have something that I can use for work purposes. Plus, I found out there's several apps I can use to actually display its screen on OBS, on my recording program. Ooh. So if I get the Apple Pencil, I can literally write my detector's notes on screen and people can oh see them. Oh my god. That's and amazing. I can have the CAD on my iPad and it can just display on my screen when I need it to. Um, same goes for flight sim charts and things, all that sort of business. Also, well, yes, this is a house with video today on Tuesday, but where I am right now, the time of you watching this video is probably about several thousand feet up in the air playing brand new Microsoft Flight Simulator, which will come out today. Oh. So don't expect to talk Wait, to me. Wait, is that today? Today, today yes. What? Okay, tomorrow, but today. Oh, oh yeah, time space. Today, mm -hmm. tomorrow. Yes, yes. time space. Yep, 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 yep. <laughs> Nearly done with the outside of this one, and we should I be in this spot forget how it's here. a warped thing for you. Yeah, I, I have to think in future time. It's the curse of being a YouTuber. Oh, I ha be, oh no, I actually have a... Be a YouTuber kind of... like me and just don't think. Yeah. I have a difficult story to kind of explain here. Oh. Um, so, um, I had my YouTube plaque on my office wall, right? My oh, yeah. Plaque. And... <laughs> um... So apparently it was visible from outside and one of the neighbor kids spotted it. And they came up to the door and were asking, you know, are you a YouTuber? What's your channel? Get and like, I didn't uh -huh. know what the hell to do. Yeah. And what I kind is of just YouTube it... child? I kind of just brushed it off as like, oh, it's something I did a long time ago. And it got to the point where like my neighbor Dan was outside uh, doing a time lapse of the sunset. And they were asking him, is he the YouTuber? And then they asked his wife and then they asked Jim. What like the they fuck? are desperate to work out who the YouTuber is who lives here. Like... The simping is hardcore, and they're like 12. They're like, I don't know who you are, but you're famous, and therefore we Probably want to know who you are. Do you know PewDiePie? Oh yeah, every YouTuber knows each other, obviously. Like, hey, like in the comments, hey, do a collab with this person. Like, I know them. <laughs> like, they give a crap about my existence. I mean... Okay. So, the house wow. exterior is done. I think. So where did you end up putting the plaque? I moved it to the opposite wall so I could see it when I walk into my office now rather than from the window. I didn't think it was visible from the window, but apparently it is. Learned that lesson. Oh, very strange lesson to learn. Yep. The fastest way to get down from scaffolding is to delete it whilst you're on it. Don't do that in real life. No, I hear that leads to accidents. I, I, yeah, some, sometimes. So, so they say. Well, we'll call it here for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. And, uh, yes, I'll be off playing Flight Sim when you watch this video. So, thanks for watching. And more house up to come. And this house will be a continuing couple of episodes, I suppose. Thanks for watching. Bye.